Okay, biology, this is the polymerization podcast, so we're going to be taking these monomers now and putting them together, so this is making polymers. Okay, we've got a few different carbohydrate monomers we can have. We have glucose, fructose, and ribose, and we are now taking those, and we're going to be changing them into polymers, uh, and those chemicals, they change their names a little bit when we do that, so we're going to take a look at that process. I'm going to give you a new sugar that I need you to know. Uh, but the, the great thing is that all polymers in, in this biochemistry, in the macromolecules chapter, are all made the same way, and this is through dehydration synthesis. And if we break this word down, to dehydrate something is to remove water. And synthesis means to make something, to make or to produce. So dehydration synthesis, then, the definition of this is the production of molecules by removing H2O. So we're going to be making larger molecules by taking water out of these systems. And the basic way that this works is we'll do, let's do blue. If I have a structure, okay, we'll call this monomer A, monomer A, and monomer A has a hydrogen off to one side. Monomer B has a hydroxide off to one side, an OH group. So this OH, OH is called hydroxide. And what happens, what we see, is when a hydrogen and a hydroxide get close together, okay, they kind of stick together. And what ends up happening is that this, these stick together and form H2O. That's one product. The other product of this reaction is now a polymer of A and B sticking together. Okay. So right here, this is where the water used to be, or this is where the H and the OH used to be. This is a new bond now, and we have a new chemical. All right, so by removing the water, we open up a space for bonding, and they, and they stick together. So let's take a look at this in carbohydrates then. So we're saying when we add a glucose and a fructose together, when we dehydrate this, these two chemicals, we get uh, a sucrose. Okay. Uh, so let's draw your glucose real quick. So we've got a CH2OH up here, and that's connected to a carbon, which is connected to an oxygen. Carbon there on the bottom, carbon here on the side. Okay, and then there's H's and OH filled in. Uh, I'm not going to show it because I don't have a whole lot of space, and neither do you. So just get the basic structure down. But the one I want you to show is that there is an H and an OH right here. Okay, an H and an OH on the right side of this glucose. Fructose is similar, except for the fact that it is a pentagon. So this little flag and an oxygen. Okay, something like that. Uh, and then off of this side, there is a hydrogen. Okay, so we have a glucose here, a monomer of glucose, a fructose here, a monomer again. And we've got a hydroxide and a hydrogen kind of in proximity to one another, and they link up, and a water is removed. And the product of that reaction is now this sucrose polymer, okay, a sucrose um, molecule. So we have CH2OH, nothing changes as far as the structure of these molecules go. I'm going to draw a little bit smaller. And then now there is um, a new bond, do it in red so I can show you where it is. So there's a new bond right here between the glucose and the fructose. Oxygen. Okay, my diagrams are terrible, but you get the idea. So this, again, right here, is the new bond. And now what we have is a disaccharide. And I haven't given you that word yet, so I'm going to talk about one thing real quick and then we're going to we're going to get some new vocabulary. Other sugar polymers that you've heard of before, uh, if you know anybody that is lactose intolerant, this is the sugar that is in milk. Okay, they cannot break that sugar down. It's a polymer of uh, glucose. Uh, another one is maltose. 
Okay, something similar. Uh, a third one is galactose. Okay, there's two glucose molecules stuck together. Uh, sucrose is one we just looked at it above. This is the one you need to know. Wow, I cannot spell sucrose. And then the last one is starch. Or the second to last one. This is in like potatoes and bread. Okay, we've looked at that in the lab. And then the last one I lied is cellulose. Yeah, this is in plants. Plant cell walls. And to break these molecules, we just do the opposite. Okay, so let me sketch out a sucrose real quick. So CH2OH bonded to a carbon, which is in a ring. And then we've got a bond right here between this glucose and a fructose. And there's a little CH2OH here and a CH2OH. If I wanted to break this bond, if I wanted to break it down, all I would need to do is the exact opposite. I would add a water. So water would come in, it would break this bond into two, and it would split us back into a single glucose. And you'd have a hydrogen and then the fructose. There'd be an, an OH right there. And then, of course, you've got your CH2OH here for your structures. Uh, this glucose has one right here. Okay, so to put them together, we dehydrate, we take a water out, and to break them, we do the opposite. This is called hydrolysis, H-Y-D-R-O-L-Y-S-I-S. -S. So hydro, meaning water, lysis, uh, L-Y-S-I-S, means to break. So we're breaking with water. Uh, and the last thing I want you to add, now that we're making polymers, we need to talk about a few different, uh, one more thing. Uh, single sugars, single sugars, the term for these is a monosaccharide, S-M-O-N-O-S-A-C-C-H-A-R-I-D-E. And an example of a monosaccharide would be like glucose or fructose or ribose, okay? We can also have uh, paired sugars. Okay, so a paired sugar is called a disaccharide. Okay, di meaning two. And a disaccharide is sucrose. And that is uh, this guy right here. Okay, that's a disaccharide. And then lastly, the third one. So once you get above the dye, we just say it is multiple sugars. Okay, this is a polysaccharide. Okay, so looking, this is similar to like monomers and polymers, same idea. And an example of a polysaccharide is starch or cellulose. Okay, but we're going to talk about starch and cellulose a lot more. So that's it, pretty much uh, the bonding, uh, taking out water, putting in water to make or break um, different polymers.